Have you played Case Haunty vs. Mord yet? You played it earlier, seemed really hard. That matchup is hard. Um, I haven't played it too much from the Case Haunty side. But I used to pick Mord against Case Haunty. That matchup does seem Mordekaiser favored. That main does skin, dude. Looks like he just came out of the toxic depths of Zahn. I gotta go through like this many checklist in my head of like what to do with K Santi. Cause I've been playing Urgot all day. Such a different feel. So many little things you gotta do on K Santi. I thought I had a mark on that melee minion. Maybe it ran out. Get his passive off. Oh, so if I ult him, that's actually going to be interesting. This is good if we just get ghost. I'll take that. I welcome you. Holy, why is this wizard? Thanks for the 42 months, man. Hope you're doing good, dude. Tried playing Destiny 2. I haven't played Destiny now. The games I've played a lot of besides League are pretty much Hearthstone and... Uh, just like random Steam games. Like Slay the Spire was really good. I was really into that for a while. Not bad. Got his W off with the passive there so I could like pull him in with my Q. I think that's the way I want to play that. Yeah, so I'm going to have to get his passive off. If I ever go for an ulti, I'm going to have to get his passive off, right? Or else my ulti like won't kidnap him. I wonder how that works exactly. I haven't tried that yet. I guess I would just go into ulti, but it wouldn't, like, pull him away. Oh, you move, but he doesn't? Okay, that's really bad then. So you never want to do that, pretty much. Unless you just want to, like, get out of a situation, I guess. It, it could be useful for that. Hey, good to see you, Irene. Hello. Yeah, I played like four games there. Got Kobo. I'm just playing some uh, Kaysanti now. I'm trying to learn him as my secondary champ right now. Mainly because I just find him really fun, to be honest. But yeah, Ergot's still my main. Ergot's always going to be my main, most likely. They would have to like fundamentally change the champion for me to not like him. And who knows? If they did change him, I could. Maybe it'd still be good. I'm not sure. Depends what they would do. Oh, he's recalling. I think we could have gone for something there, but I guess he does have Ghost. Mundo has Ghost advantage now. Oh, 
If I can hold the wave around here, it's really good. Dang, those cleavers hurt when I'm full HP, though. I gotta say, dude, I like this Emperor skin more than I like his uh, Prestige skin. This looks so cool. I don't want to miss Cannon. I was trying to deny him that Cannon. What if they turned Urgot into an ADC? Uh, if he could only be played bot lane, yeah, I don't know if I'd play him anymore. But I don't think that'll ever happen, so we don't have to worry about that. So strong in that all out form. Okay, nice, dude. Lane is feeling good. Lane is where I feel good with K Santi. It's just team fights is where I feel iffy. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Lane phase took me about 15 to 20 games to get decent. I feel like team fighting is probably going to take like 100 plus. Also, team fighting is just harder. I think it's always going to be... There's always going to be some team fights that are just inconsistent. Like that happens on any champ. I know it's never going to be 100% good 100% of the time, but if I can get it to like 70% of the time, I'll be pretty happy. <laughs> Jay Santi? Is that what you call him, Noxious? It's the accent, dude. People say that I say K-Santi wrong, by the way. Is it K-Sant? Do you not say the E? I've been wondering that. Some people say it's wrong, but some people say it's fine. Like, some other people say k Santi for sure. So, I don't know. It's k Sante. Huh. k Santi just feels so much more natural, man. Just, like, easier to say. Oh, they got a Vi up here. We got our free boots, though, and an Iceborne. I'm pretty safe. Oh, they got Yasuo, too. Vi Yasuo is actually a scary combo. It's going to be a 2v3 if we do anything here. The Vi's in our top side, so I don't want to go too ham here. What the heck? Was that a misclick? Thought I was gonna all in with that E, maybe. Probably not. 
probably a misclick. Uh, I don't want to use my control ward there. It's going to get cleared too easily. Let's do like a pretty safe control ward right now. I want to get this out of my inventory. Window lane's feeling pretty good. I do feel like he is kind of hard to kill, though. Unless I go all out. That's like any tank matchup with Kaysanti, though. It's kind of just like a slugfest until you go into your all out. But the thing is, you don't want to go all out, like, right at the start. Like, you don't want to go all out when you're, like, full HP, because then you're just chunking yourself. Okay, no ulti, no ghost. We're going to go for the kill here in a sec. I need to get his passive off, though. It's kind of hard if he just sits back with Q, though. That's what I always struggle with against Mundo. Like, if they sit back and farm with Q, it's always hard to get a lead. We gotta try to like freeze the wave and make him play up a little bit. Let's just back here. We got a ton of gold. Um, definitely a tabby game. Definitely a bramble too. We need bramble right now. Cut this guy's healing a bit. And then we'll probably just do sunfire into stone plate probably. Looks like vine jinx are getting pretty fed. Oh, dude, I'm going to port on this. Wow. I can't believe that Yasuo got away. That wasn't too bad. I think we could have played it a little bit better. Wasn't too bad, though. Vi's just fed right now, to be honest. It's all auto attacks, too. I might go into Thorn Mill before Stone Play, actually. They're kind of all physical damage.
They got Vi up here. Should be a free dragon then. Infernal Soul game. I definitely can't TV one right now. Unless I like pull them under tower. Sometimes sometimes with K Santi you can make a TV one a 1v1 if you like pull them over a wall. I actually had that happen the other day. Try to go for a rem here. We got the wave shoved in. That buys us time. Oh man, this is bad. Dude, I can ulti. I was pressing it. I think I was out of range and then I like misclicked or something. Ah, that's unfortunate. I was trying to get for the Vigar. Those are the situations where it's hard to play with Kesanti, man. Those situations where like everything is split. That's where it's tough. I think that's where I got to either just like. I gotta just try to take somebody out with my ulti at that point. I think I'm trying to think about too many things at once when I team fight with Kesanti. So it just gets like overwhelming and I'm I'm trying to do too many things. I gotta just focus on like one thing. Vigar Cage is the strongest normal ability in the game. It's definitely up there, yeah. That ability is crazy. Well, we're still in a pretty good spot. Our farm's good. This actually feels nice with the uh, hex deck drag. I'm feeling that attack speed beast. See if it looks TPable. You're excited to see what new skins they do for Kesanti? I am too, man. They could do some pretty cool stuff on him. Definitely got that warded. I was hoping that Kane would hover. I think we could TV too. Maybe we'll just play for Dragon now. Seems kind of risky to go for a TV too right now. That Jinx is huge. I'm gonna have to TP here. I'm gonna have to give up this wave, sadly. I think it's worth it to TP early, though. I'm 
I'm honestly playing just to support the Jin here. Okay, so I can ulti through his cage, but I can't W. That's right. Alright, one more Drake for Soul. That's good. Did our Ezreal just TP out of that 1v1 against Mundo? I guess he has no way to cancel. That's funny. Oh, they got the Jinx rotating. All right, let's not risk that. Let's see if Jinx, uh, Jinx face checks though, maybe. Wait, I got stunned? I got you, dude. Shut down. That's too sketchy. We got the Jinx, though. I'll take it, dude. Good plays, guys. We're just keeping keeping each other alive, man. For dear life. I feel like this Kane's gonna be in trouble, though. He's gonna have the whole squad on him. He's got a blast cannon, nice. Um, let's do Thorn Mail. Actually. We have enough for the Aegis, which is kind of huge. Let's do a uh, stun plate. Stun plate's really nice on Kaysanti because you scale off, your damage scales off resist and your ulti. So it actually gives you a ton of damage. Polymorph is so good against Yasuya. I love it. But not only do you scale off resist, but also having a massive shield when you go all out. So you can't really get bursted. Like, stone plate is such a crazy item on this champ, dude. It's insane. New skin? Yeah, I just bought the, uh, the Emprian. I got all the chromas for it, too. It's a really nice skin, man. I got no complaints on this skin. Mm, I might TP here. I am gonna TP. We're gonna ghost on this. Kane is popping off. Dude, Kane maybe just wins this. Kane is no not looking balanced this game. My Sunfire Burn got the kill, nice. Whoops. That was close, dude. Very squishy in that all out. Very strong, though. I think we comboed okay there. Actually, you know what? We should reset. 
I know Dragon's gonna spawn, but I'm so chunked. I feel like resetting is good here. We'll get back pretty fast. Who wins Urgot versus Kaysanti? Um, I think Kaysanti wins early game, but I think Urgot scales really good into him. And if Kaysanti ever ults Urgot early, you should win if you land your R. Um, going all out, I think, takes you to 40%. I want to say. Oh, you lose 45%. And Urgot ult is 25%. So, yeah, not quite. Also, let's make sure that's on the right hockey. I don't want to get messed up on that. Well, now we have an Infernal Soul, so my all out's going to be crazy. Wow, that's actually going to be nice in the combo. Because the cooldown's only 3 seconds on Infernal Soul. Dude, that's super nice for Kaysanti, actually. Is just the beginning. Did you press F5? What happens if I press F5? I'm scared. Is that one of those baits? Or does something actually happen with the skin? That blocks out my Q3. Let's try to help this guy out. Oh, never mind. Let's get out of here. Oh, F5 is a hockey for my... For the Lulu. That Infernal Soul makes the wave clear so nice, too. Also, dude, it goes really good with this skin. Um, I'm thinking we go Randoons. They got three people going crit. by the nerfed wardens. Oh, the save. You can always get an assist with Kaysanti if you just shield somebody, by the way. It's kind of OP. It's kind of easy to farm assist on this champion. He's going to lose that. I got a recall. That Yasuo is actually very strong. It's kind of close if I can win this. I think I can. Nice, dude. That was a good combo. We got the E auto reset there. Didn't even have to use my stone play. Dude, we were doing zero damage before I went all out, though. I was just going to test my damage because the ulti is going to drop me down anyway. So I can wait a little bit. But yeah, K Santi with Infernal Soul is not fair when he goes all out. That's insane, man. My ancestors 
monsters built Yazuma. No god, king or beast. 320. If we do, let's see. Is this going to be enough? Maybe grunt plus a wave. Yeah, big thing with Kaysanti, you want to make sure you're weaving in those auto attacks in between your combo. Or like in between each ability, you want to auto attack. And then you want to use that E as an auto reset as well. That's how we did so much damage there in that all out. So Q auto, W auto. And then E to auto reset. And then Q autos back again. Yeah, maybe we can just do this. It's a little bit 50-50. I don't know if I like this. I'm kind of chunked, too. Yeah. I should have used my stone plate shield, dude. Made that really sketchy. Hope this Baron doesn't kill me. That's all I got, guys. Okay, that was actually nice, dude. Besides not using the stun play, that was pretty smooth. Take it, I think taking out the Jinx was really good. Jinx and Yasuo are definitely the targets if I try to go for an ulti. Because at this point, it doesn't even matter what their score is. They just do so much damage. Elder is going to be nasty, by the way. I haven't had a game on K Santi where I get Elder. That's gonna be so insane in our in our ulti. Oh, that's just overkill, dude. I should not be ulting that guy. That's way too overkill. I got so many things to think about, man. That's my problem with Kaysanti. There's so many things to think about, Lake M. It's fun, but it's kind of overwhelming sometimes. Dude. That was fun, man. Oh my gosh, we had oh 2.6k damage reduced on Iceborne. 1.2k damage.